Hello class, our president today is Martin Van Buren. Okay. And as you can see here, this is a picture of Martin Van Buren. He lives long enough to get a picture taken of him. Um, so John Quincy Adams and Andrew Jackson. Um, but this is what, you know exactly what he looked like. So Martin Van Buren was born December 5th, 1782. And he was born in Kinderhook, New York. So later he's going to be called Old Kinderhook or OK. And he is going to be of Dutch heritage. Okay? His birth name actually had more, I spelled a different way of Martin. And so his first language is Dutch. He's the only president so far that has had English not be their first language. He will die July 24th, 1862, 79 years old. So his home state is going to be New York and he's, all his policy is going to be in New York. In religion, he's gonna be part of the Dutch reform group of Calvinist. So it is interesting for his family. His wife is Hannah van buren okay. and they are gonna get married in 1807 uh they've married for 12 years and then hannah will tragically die okay and they're gonna have uh, five children together when martin van buren writes his biography he makes no mention of his wife of 12 years the mother of his children so Martin Van Buren's term of office is going to be from March 4th, 4, 1837 to March 4th, 1841. He's going to serve only one term. He is going to fail to get reelected. His vice president is going to be Richard Mentor Johnson. Uh, he was actually a, quite a controversial figure at the time, had to do with his relationship with a black woman um and so it is the only time that the race for vice president goes to the senate that decides it and they ultimately decide on richard mentor johnson there so for martin van buren's career politics he is going to start out as the attorney general of the state of new york Then he is going to get elected from the state legislature to be the senator from New York. And then in 1828, he is put on the ticket to be governor of New York. Now, at this point, this is when Andrew Jackson is running for the second time after being unsuccessful the first time and he's going to win the presidency so in that wave for the jacksonian democrats that is brought in uh, martin van buren is going to go become governor and the governorship starts on january 1st so it becomes governor and the presidency starts in march and andrew jackson says that he wants him to be Secretary of State. So after only three months as Governor of York, Martin Van Buren is going to resign to become Secretary of State. Uh, during Andrew Jackson's term, there is going to be a scandal amongst the cabinet of Andrew Jackson called the Petticoat Affair. I won't go into deep detail on this, but it has to do with the wives of cabinet members bullying another wife of, of someone Jackson cared about. And it results in tons of people having to resign. Now, Martin Van Buren, his wife had died over a decade ago. So he wasn't um, stuck in this. So Jackson doesn't have a reason to have animosity against him. And then he loses his own vice president, John C. Calhoun, who resigns. So when Jackson runs for president, 
again uh, for re-election, then we are going to, he's going to have Martin Van Buren be his running mate. And so he's really helped by the fact that he didn't have a wife. So uh, uh, Martin Van Buren is going to get elected in 1836. And during his term, there is an economic panic, which is kind of an old-timey word for a recession, okay? It's a short-term but deep downturn in the economy. And so the economy collapses while Martin Van Buren is president. At this point, the federal government has almost no impact on the economy the way that it does today, okay? Um, but this is the first time we see an example of when the economy is bad, they blame the person in charge, so he loses re-election. Um, and so he loses re-election in 1840. In 1848, he stages an attempted combat under the Free Soil Party, which is trying to stop the expansion of slavery. His running mate is uh, the son of John Quincy Adams, the uh, grandson of John Adams, to Charles Adams, um, and they don't win any states, but he gets 10% of the vote. You know, it's always a weird thing seeing a former president run as a third party. Um, so for Martin Van, Van, Van Buren, he is going to see his four direct successors die before he does, and he is going to see eight presidents succeed him. And that is the most that any president has ever done. He's going to see Lincoln get elected and then Martin Van Buren is going to die during the Civil War. Uh, and so Martin Van Buren kind of gets forgotten to history as this one-term president. Uh, but he still had this, he was seen as this continuation of the policies of Andrew Jackson, uh, which included Indian removal. He was responsible for more disruption of Native Americans than Andrew Jackson was. Um, so, so somewhat of a, of a mixed uh, record of history because later he becomes part of the Free Soil Party uh, against the expansion of slavery um, kind of changing his ways as thing as he gets older. All right, next time.